Hey everyone, it's Melanie here from Bright House Scents and my very first Lavender and Speckles haul has arrived today and I purchased three sampler bags. So the sampler bags are very large. You're getting a ton of samples in here and there's like three pieces of wax per sample, which is great. So I did pretzel, palo santo and strawberry pound cake. And this is the very first order that I've placed, but I have warmed Lavender and Speckles wax. Um, I got some samples from Christine and I tried those out just the other day and they perform quite well in my house. So um, I'm looking forward to sort of getting into this. I am gonna let this cure. So um, Beth is the owner of Lavender and Speckles and she sent a little card and it has the info on it. And she just noted the, um, the warm date is September 16th. So she said warm after September 16th. Honestly, for me, I'm probably gonna let these sit for like a month or two, just cause I want my wax to cure. I wanna give it lots of time so that I'm getting the best performance. So we're gonna go through these three sampler bags. I'm gonna smell through them, let you know my thoughts. I'm pretty excited about this. So we'll start with strawberry pound cake sampler. This is strawberry pound cake. <laughs> Actually, strawberry pound cake. Um, so this is, I guess, the original. Sweet strawberries, lemon zest, fluffy pound cake, and vanilla. So this is where it all starts from. Ooh, and I get the lemon zest. But it's not like intense lemony. It just brings out the strawberry more. Yeah, that's nice. I totally get the lemon. And I get the strawberry. It's nice. And I get the vanilla. Good. That's a nice blend. It's light though on cold right now, so I'm definitely gonna let these sit for a bit. Okay, the next one is Loopy Strawberries. This is strawberry pound cake blended with Fruit Loops and a touch of green apple. Oh yeah, I get the green apple. I get the Fruit Loops and there's lemon in Fruit Loops, I think, because I definitely get lemon from this. And the strawberry pound cake is actually like in the back seat on this one. It's like Fruit Loops and I get the apple forward. Next, we have Strawberry Fluff Bread. This is strawberry pound cake, fluffy marshmallows, and zucchini bread. Oh, I get the zucchini bread right away. It's good. It's like creamy, almost like creamy zucchini bread. It's not like the sharp, heavy zucchini bread. I actually don't get much strawberry pound cake in this. I get more zucchini bread. This is nice. It's a creamy bakery zucchini bread. This is good. Yeah, I like that a lot. And let me just show you these pieces. I'm like, this is a significant piece of wax and you get three per sample. So I feel like this is more than enough wax to get an idea of the scent of how it's gonna perform. You know, you're not limited to like one piece where you have to use it in a small space. I think this can go in a larger space. So I'm excited for that. These sample bags are great. Okay, strawberry lemon zest pie. Strawberry pound cake with some extra lemon zest blended with pie crust and vanilla waffle cones. Oh yeah, I get the lemon zest. I get vanilla waffle cones. I actually don't really get much of the strawberry pound cake. It's almost like it's a blender as opposed to like the forward note. You know what I mean? And obviously these are fresh, so like they still need to sit for a while. But this is just my first impressions. Everything changes when you warm it. Okay, the next one is strawberry vanilla fudge cookie cake. It's strawberry pound cake, vanilla butter fudge, sugared strawberry cookies, and white cake. Oh, I love this one. Mm -hmm. I love everything with cake. I'm here for cake every day of the week. Smell it, eat it. I'm a cake kind of girl. Oh, this is good. I get this vanilla, what does it say? White cake, yes. Strawberry cookies, yes. Oh, I love this one. This is my favorite one so far. Strawberry vanilla fudge cookie cake is what that one's called. And it's already quite strong. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, good. Strawberry Halloween treats. This is strawberry pound cake blended with pumpkin pecan waffles, caramel swirl, and sweet candy corn. Oh, I totally get the caramel swirl and the pumpkin pecan waffles right off the top. The strawberry pound cake is in the background, totally in the back seat here. Oh, it's nice. It's like pecan waffle, pumpkin pecan waffles with the caramel is what I'm getting forward, and I enjoy that very much in the fall. So very berry cornbread, strawberry pound cake, blueberry muffins, and sweet raspberry punch blended with honey cornbread. Sweet raspberry punch, okay. Oh, I get that. <laughs> I do smell raspberry punch. It's like, it's like more berry fruity, it's not so bakery. And almost floral a little bit. It's like a berry fruity floral smell. This is not really bakery for me at all. I don't get strawberry pound cake here. 
I think it's the raspberry. Sometimes raspberry can read floral to me. I think it's the raspberry that's doing that. I would say that one's probably my least favorite of the bunch so far. Uh, the next one is cotton candy frosting birthday cake. This is strawberry pound cake, cotton candy frosting, vanilla bean noel, and of course, birthday cake. Did I even show you guys the packaging on this? This is so cute. Oh yeah, that's great. I get the birthday cake right away. Yep, I get the strawberry pound cake. Oh, I like this. Yeah, that's sweet birthday cake mixed with sweet strawberry pound cake. Loving my life. Next is strawberry glazed donuts. This is strawberry pound cake, creamy vanilla, sugar, waffle cones, and glazed donuts. Ooh. Mmm. I almost get like, um, I feel like you get a little bit of lemon in this one. Like I'm smelling a little bit of a lemony citrus note somehow here. Mixed with strawberry pound cake. Mixed with bakery. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm getting here. I'm not getting glazed donut. I feel like I'm getting a lemon bakery smell somehow. Okay, I'm gonna let that one sit because I don't know, I'm not sure how that one, I'm not sure why I'm getting so much lemon on that. So we'll just let that sit for a minute. Um, strawberry pound cake and Palo Santo. Oh, I love Palo Santo. I got the Palo Santo sampler right here. That's my favorite one. I'm leaving that for last. Or sorry, I shouldn't say that's my favorite one because I haven't smelled it yet, but I think that's going to be my favorite one because I love Palo Santo. Okay, strawberry pound cake and Palo Santo. Yeah, it's amazing. Her Palo Santo is creamy. Yes, this is exactly how I wanted this Palo Santo to be. <gasps> I'm so excited to get into that sampler. Yeah, this is amazing. It's so good. Oh, that's so good. I love Palo Santo and this is like a creamy Palo Santo. It's nice. Strawberry cinnamon buns, strawberry pound cake and sweet cinnamon buns blended with frosted sugar cookies. Oh yeah, I totally get cinnamon bun. And I get the icing on the cinnamon bun and it's mixed with like a teeniest bit of strawberry pound cake, but it's in the back seat. I'm finding a lot of these, the strawberry pound cake is not forward. It's like Beth has used it as like a blender kind of, you know? Yeah, that's really good. And this one smells cinnamon sugar. The cinnamon buns are cinnamon sugar, not red hot cinnamon. So if you were concerned with that, it's definitely not red hot. It is cinnamon sugar. That's my favorite kind of cinnamon. I love that. Carnival ride, strawberry pound cake, juicy apples, maple bourbon, and cotton candy. Oh yeah, it smells like a caramel apple. It smells like a caramel apple mixed with a hint of strawberry pound cake, but definitely the strawberry pound cake is way in the background on that. Okay, so that is the strawberry pound cake sampler. I'm pumped about that, very excited to try these. Now let's get into the pretzel sampler. Okay, starting off with good old pretzel. Uh, this is good old salty pretzel. <laughs> That's what it says. Let's smell her pretzel all by itself. Oh yeah. It's pretzel. It's like um, a doughy, bready pretzel. It's not the crunchy kind to me. It's like soft and doughy. I get a hint of the salt. That's good. Very pretzel, not sweet or anything like that. Very, very pretzel. Okay, next is blackberry marshmallow cookie pretzel. Sweet blackberries, marshmallow bomb, sugar cookies blended with pretzel. Oh, I love that. Ooh, the blackberry's so good. Ooh, the blackberry's good on this one. It's like a perfumey blackberry that's like sweet, perfumey. This is like a bedroom type of scent for me. Even though it has the pretzel in it, it's still not like bakery to me. It's like bedroom. Oh, that blackberry is good. It's like blackberry sugar. Imagine if, it, if you smelled blackberry sugar that's kind of got a, like a perfumey sweet smell mixed with a hint of pretzel. I love that. That's for my bedroom and I love that. I'm a big blackberry lover. Okay, this is the works. You like pretzel day. I do like pretzel day. Salty pretzels blended with caramel and maple sauce, buttercream, and sprinkled with pieces of peanut butter cookies. Mm. Let me get some peanut butter here. Let me get it. Okay, I don't get peanut butter, but it's really good. Yeah, I totally get the pretzel in this. 
I get the caramel, I get the maple, I don't get the peanut butter, but I'm gonna let this sit for a while and cure because I really want that peanut butter to come out. But on cold, I'm not getting it. So let's see, let's wait and see how that one ends up warming. Okay, salted pretzel Paolo, I mean, I'm excited for this. Oh yum, salted pretzels, vanilla ice cream, Palo Santo and marshmallow fireside. Yeah, this Palo Santo is so good. Oh my gosh, I'm pumped for my Palo Santo sampler. This is so good. This Palo Santo is creamy. It's amazing. Oh yeah, I love that. So I get creamy Palo Santo. Maybe there's pretzel in here. I don't know. If you didn't tell me there was, I wouldn't be able to tell you there is, you know? It's like I get the Palo Santo in this. It's so good. It's like a Palo Santo bakery smell. So good. I love that. Okay, strawberry cupcakes at Tiffany's pretzel. Okay, strawberry cupcakes at Tiffany's and pretzel. Oh yeah, I get the cupcakes at Tiffany's and I get the strawberry pound cake and I get the pretzel. Oh yeah, that's a good bakery. Nice. Next is vanilla marshmallow pretzel. This is buttercream, super sweet vanilla, cuppy cake, and fluffy marshmallows. Yep. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. It's so bakery. I love this. Oh my gosh. What is it? Buttercream. I get it. Super sweet vanilla. I get it. Yeah, that's so good. Okay. Just smells like good bakery good. Espresso buttercream pretzel. I love a good coffee smell. Here we go. Mmm. The espresso is actually like not forward. I get the buttercream and I get the pretzel forward and the espresso is in the background. I can smell it, but it's not forward. And usually espresso or coffee scents, they kind of like dominate a little bit. So that'll be interesting to warm. I like that, okay. Frosted lemon pound cake and pretzel. This is lemony pretzel goodness. Sweet lemon pound cake with rich buttercream frosting, fresh lemon zest and pretzel. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. It's like, it's lemon bakery, but lemon can lean a little bit floor cleaner to me. And this one does, but only a hint, like not enough that I think it's going to turn me off of the scent, you know, but enough that I'm like, mm, mm -hmm, that's going to lean floor cleaner for me, but not in a super gross way. If that makes any sense. Lemon's been so weird for me lately. I mean, it's just, it's become so astringent. Like even in bakery lemon, it's become astringent to my nose lately. So that one does give me a hint of that floor cleaner lemon. So we'll see how it warms. Cracklin pecan waffles, pretzel. Cracklin birch, pumpkin pecan waffles and pretzel. Oh yeah, that's so good. You get the birch right away. Oh, I love this. Mm -hmm. This is winter time. Oh, this is winter goodness. Yes. The cracklin birch in this is so good. I love that. Okay, that's like a wintertime uh, bakery kind of smell, but more winter than bakery. Donut shop and Palo and pretzel. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like that. I totally get donut shop and pretzel and Palo. That's good. The Palo's not as strong as in the other blend, but that's really nice. Okay, blueberry pecan waffles, apple cider donuts, and pretzel. Ooh, I get the apple cider donuts. I get the blueberry waffle. What does it say? Blueberry pecan waffles. I'm here for it. I get it. I actually don't really get the pretzel in this one. I get the cider and I get the blueberry. It smells amazing. Awesome fall bakery smell. But I don't smell pretzel in that one. Strawberry French toast pretzel. Um, oh, um... Christine recently sent me this sample. I warmed this just recently and it was amazing. Yeah, yeah, I totally warmed this recently. It's like, this is not strawberry pound cake. This is like um, strawberry jam, maybe like more of a concentrated kind of strawberry mixed with French toast and pretzel. This warmed super well in my house. Yeah, beautiful, love it. Okay, yay. And then we got summer boardwalk pretzels, sweet candied apples, caramel corn, a touch of toffee, hints of ozone, and salty pretzel. Oh, I get the caramel apple. Yep, and I get the pretzel. 
Oh, so good. I love caramel apple everything. Okay, that's amazing. That is the pretzel sampler. Now we're going to move on to the Palo Santo sampler. Okay, so this is the one I'm most excited about. I love Palo Santo when it's done right. And so far from the Palo Santo that I've smelled in the other samplers, um, Lavender and Speckles does it right. So I'm pumped about this. Uh, donut Shop and Palo Santo. It's Cinnamon Sugar Donuts and Palo Santo. It's amazing. It is exactly Cinnamon Sugar Donuts and Palo Santo. And the Palo Santo is creamy and bakery and rich and amazing. And the sugar donuts is cinnamon sugar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is it. This is going to be my Palo Santo. I can already tell. I know it. I think this is going to be my favorite Palo Santo ever. Strawberry marshmallow and Palo Santo. Strawberry pound cake, gooey marshmallows and Palo Santo. Amazing. I'm pretty sure I just got this one in the strawberry pound cake um, sampler too. Like I think I just smelled this one. It's amazing. It's strawberry pound cake and Palo Santo and it's so good. This Palo Santo is so good. Toasted lavender marshmallows and Palo Santo. Oh, this is like a bedroom melt. Oh yeah, this lavender is beautiful. It's like sweet lavender mixed with the Palo Santo. Oh, this is beautiful. This is like a bedroom melt. Yeah, I'm gonna love that. Okay, I'm not a huge lavender person, especially not like medicinal lavender, but this one's a sweet lavender and that's really nice. Okay, smoked blackberries. This is sweet blackberries blended with marshmallow fireside and Palo Santo. Yep, you get the blackberry, you get the marshmallow fireside, you get the Palo Santo. You get all of it. Everything that she says is here. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is it. This is my Palo. Palo pine cones, roasted pine cones, creamy vanilla, Palo Santo, and dark amber rosewood. Oh, rosewood. Oh, this is like manly, a little bit cologne kind of. It's very like... Mmm, like strong, sexy man. Huh. That's really interesting. I like that. That's a bedroom melt for me too. I'll put that one in my bedroom too. Okay. Sweet vanilla berry Palo Santo. This is warm vanilla sugar BBW type. Strawberry pound cake and Palo Santo. Oh yeah, I get the strawberry. Oh, I get the strawberry. I don't, it doesn't smell like strawberry pound cake to me. It smells like um, strawberry jam. Yeah, okay. That's strawberry jam to me, not strawberry pound cake. And it's strawberry forward, less Palo Santo. Very nice, but not as Palo Santo-y, you know. This is Tiffany's Palo Santo and Coffee House. Ooh, cupcakes at Tiffany's Palo Santo and the best coffee scent ever. <laughs> yes, girl, I'm here for the best coffee scent ever. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's good. Ooh, the coffee is forward, but it's not bitter. You get bakery from this, but also you get the smoky, like, Palo Santo coffee. Ooh, yeah, that's good. I'm going to love that. So I am going to let these sit and cure, but I find the coffee scents, they tend to be a bit stronger to, to begin with. So this is one of the ones that I would probably warm sooner than later, you know? Smoked apples and Palo Santo. This is Macintosh apple, Palo Santo, smoked cedar, and marshmallow fireside. Ooh, that is a Mac apple right there. This is like fall. I get the apple. I get a little bit of the smoke, but not a lot of it. It's more apple forward than anything, but it's like a fall hint of smoky kind of apple. Very nice. Okay, loving it. Beach Nights and Palo Santo, true to its name, Beach Nights and Palo Santo goodness. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I can't. This is so good. It's Beach Nights and it's Palo Santo and it is perfection. It's creamy on both levels. The Beach Nights is creamy. The Palo Santo is creamy. But then you get the smokiness. But then you get that, the Beach Nights sweet, marshmallowy. Mmm. This is good. This is good. I got to repurchase this. Beach Nights and Palo Santo. Like, this is happening. Yeah, that's amazing. That's going to go in my bedroom, too. Okay, um, smoked cashmere. This is cocoa butter cashmere, Palo Santo, and salty sea air. Oh, 
also a bedroom scent. The cashmere is nice, a little bit feminine, not quite perfumey, not quite soapy, but leaning in that direction. Nice, very nice. Almost like baby powder-esque, but it's not baby powder, but it's leaning in that like sort of feminine, innocent kind of um, almost floral, almost soapy, but not. That's nice. I guess the cashmere is really adding something to that. Okay, that's nice. That's a bedroom scent too. Strawberry Pretzel Milkshake and Palo Santo. I'm pretty sure I just got this one in one of the other samplers too. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, it's so good. It's so good. I'm loving my life. Birth, uh, Speckles Birthday Cake. Okay, here we go. Birthday cake blended with sugar cookies, pecan waffles, cinnamon, vanilla, and lots of Palo Santo. I'm here for it. Oh, that's my favorite one. Oh, this is cake. This is birthday cake mixed with Palo Santo. It is sweet, creamy, cake, smoky, creamy, smoky, sweet cake. Oh, I love this. Oh, I need like a pound of this. Oh, this is going to be so good. Yes. Okay, so I got to give it to Beth. Um, now, granted, I have not warmed these, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is my favorite Palo Santo I've ever smelled. And obviously, we'll see how it warms, but just based on my cold sniffs, this is this is it. Like, uh, this Palo Santo is good, good, good. It's exactly what I like, where it has a little bit of the smoke, but it has the creaminess, too. Doesn't It doesn't lean perfumey in any way, because sometimes Palo Santo can lean that way. And I really don't understand why are we doing that to Palo Santo. It should be smoky, right? Um, that's how I like it. So this has a hint of that, but also the creaminess makes it almost bakery in some of these blends. It's just like, yeah, it's everything. Okay. So that is my lavender and speckles haul. I'm super excited for this wax. I mean, as you guys know, I love wax. We all do. If you're watching this, it's cause you're a wax addict, just like me. So to have all these different scents is really exciting because you can just sort of try all the different smells, right? And the amount of wax that you're getting, like these three pieces, this is a significant amount that I think will give you a good idea of like, how is it gonna perform in an open space, right? Because when I'm buying wax, I'm really looking for, can I get a scent that's gonna perform in the open space? So um, I will link Beth's channel in the description and also I will put her website there too in case you want to order from Lavender and Speckles. Now, before we go, I want to share a little fun fact about me um, and something cool that I think Beth does here is she puts scripture on her cards and on her packaging. I could barely read the one on the packaging because these are samplers, so it's really small, but I can see that it's from Deuteronomy. Um, but I can read the one on the card here, and it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. Uh, it's a pretty famous scripture, I think, whether you're a Christian or you've ever read the Bible or anything like that. You might have heard this scripture. It's talked about a lot. And it's just so encouraging and wonderful, and I love to see scripture, you know, anywhere and everywhere. Um, so I mentioned, I think, in one of my videos that I did a, my degree in theology. So I like studied God for four years and I have a degree in that. And um, it was really cool because with my degree program, I was able to study God um, among the masses. So like cross-cultural study. So I got to study God or the aspect of God in every world religion, in every culture. It was fascinating. I, I really loved my four years in university. It was great. Um, and then another fun fact about me and something that you probably wouldn't think is like I was a pastor for many years. So whenever I see scripture on things, I'm always like, oh, that's so awesome. I love that message. Um, I was like a children's pastor for a long while and a youth pastor for a long while and an assistant pastor for a long while. And uh, yeah, I know you're probably like, Mel, were you really though? Because sometimes you swear on your channel. Um, but yes, I was. And so Beth, I want to say thank you so much for putting these scriptures on there. I think that's awesome. I think that um, they're super encouraging, whether it's like you believe in 
the message behind it and like the faith behind it or not is really encouraging to be like, hey, there are plans for me. Because I don't know about you, but like I get caught up in all the plans that are for everyone else, right? Do you ever look at someone else and you're like, hmm, that's, that's a good plan. You're on a good path. I kind of want that path for me, right? And you have like a little bit of jealousy creep up or you have like a little bit of self-doubt because you're like, wait a minute, I see... I see there's a plan for you and I like that plan. And like, what about me? I don't know. <laughs> Am I the only person that feels that way sometimes? Because I get that way sometimes. So um, it's nice to see this and just be reminded that it's like, yeah, there's a specific plan for all of us. And um, we can create our own plan. You know, we can decide which path we're going to take and we can create our own plan and we can create a really cool life for ourselves. And it's like, that is so encouraging. And I love that Beth um, used that scripture on this one. So that was encouraging for me today. Hopefully it was for you too. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for tuning in guys. And I'll catch you in the next one.